The Average True Range Method ATR. Stop Loss is a vital risk management tool that puts a cap on potential losses. It closes a position when the asset reaches a specified price. But how can a trader determine the price level needed? Well, here's one of the approaches. The Average True Range ADR, measures the average volatility of a market on a certain time frame for a specified period. For example, if you look at an hour chart and use the 14-hour period, then an ATR indicator will show the average movement over the last 14 hours. Or you can look at a daily chart and use a 20-day period. In this case, the ATR indicator will calculate the average volatility over the last 20 days. Bear in mind that the higher volatility of an asset, the higher ATR. Now, imagine you trade CPL shares and want to set a stop loss order to cap potential losses. To determine the price range, traders use a certain percentage of the ATR measure. To put a stop loss based on ATR, traders use a multiplier. Two is the most popular one. However, it can be 0 0.5, 1, 3 or greater depending on your goals and risk tolerance. For example, if the average hour volatility of the CPL stock is £1, you may set a stop order at 2 times ATR. This means the stop loss will be triggered if the price moves £2 from the open price against you. Remember that placing a stop loss order doesn't guarantee execution at a specified price. In some cases, prices can move suddenly, making it impossible to execute at a specified price. So the order is executed at the next best price available. This is called slippage. Invest mindfully. Risks are involved.